Okay everyone, welcome to my living room today where we're going to be having a look at the unboxing of Tandy's original computer, the Model 1, uh, as it would have been purchased uh, in 1977 or 1978 and just have a look at what uh, the purchasers at the time would have thought when uh, they opened their um, their new machine up that they just bought back from Radio Shack or Tandy. So obviously the monitor is in here and the computer's in this one. I'm going to start with the monitor so to make some space we'll move the computer out the way. So immediately we can see that on the box we have KTR123S. That's actually the um, code that RCA used for the monitor or television set that they used to make these monitors out of. Um, so uh, because the monitors were made by RCA for Radio Shack and delivered to them and then they were uh, sold as computer monitors. So um, if we look around here you can see that once it arrives at Radio Shack they would have just had a big stamp to put 261201 which was the um, the Radio Shack catalogue number for the Model 1 monitor and that would have just been uh, sold um, to customers like that so we'll have a look inside the, uh, the box here um, just take my camera off the tripod. So the first thing they would do is tear into the top and straight away you will see a little pamphlet there about the video display. It's just a little um, two page booklet explaining how to plug the thing in and where the controls are. and it was pretty obvious to get it out of the box you need to remove these two styrofoams out of the way and then we can see the monitor in there put my camera back on the tripod and we'll lift this beast out of the, the box there I'm going to put it on the table just over here. Okay. So the first thing people would recognize on this monitor, power switch is up here. We have a contrast control and a brightness control. We also have a control mark V. If this was a television, that would have had a volume control there. But since it's being used as a computer monitor, they put a grommet there and run the cable out, which is where the video goes into the um, from the computer into the monitor. So it's marked V because it used to be a television set. And that used to be the volume control. Turning it around, let's see what there is to be seen. Just lower my tripod slightly. Okay, so on these monitors of note, that's where the antenna would have uh, been mounted, and there's the receptacle that would have held the antenna from when this was designed as a television set. Um, the power cord that these have on them. And this is a 120 volt US one. Might be difficult to see in the light there. It has RCA embossed on it. Um, it uses the same power cord that the uh, uh, when it was designed as a television set. And typical of most black and white sets of the time, it has a um, horizontal hold and vertical hold controls. Manufactured information on the back. February 1978. 
people that know a bit about TRS 80s would recognize immediately this makes it a very early unit the computer was released in August 1977 and they spent most of September October and November catching up on back orders and it was only really for December and uh, 1977 onwards that production caught up so this is a very early unit probably one of the first mm, I don't know 30,000 units Serial number of the monitor is 2524, uh, 25,242. So, anyway, I'm going to stop the camera here and we'll have a look at the keyboard unit. For the majority of people who were buying these things in the 1970s, this is what it was all about. What was in this box? So, let's have a quick look at the box. Stamped by Tandy. 261001 makes it a 4K level 1 computer. Other than that, fairly ordinary round box. So let's see how Radio Shack um, arranged everything inside it. I have to tell you, they did a very good job. You don't often see them like this. They're designed to be transported and not damaged, as you'll see. First we have a, stop, a top piece of foam rubber here. Under it is the computer. Protecting item sitting here. Another piece of foam rubber. And stopping the computer being bounced around is a third piece of foam rubber. Radio Shack 120 volt power supply sits here where it can't flop around or run into the computer pretty standard for the time for Radio Shack computers and the computer itself just get that out might be a little difficult to focus in on 261001 makes it a 4k level 1 computer No numerical keypad, cover on the back here. Um, this is probably done, it's done somewhere because there's some wear along the front here. But as far as these computers go, that's actually not bad at all. No, a lot of them have chips and things here or feet missing. And the dramas. Under all this sits user's manual for level one. It explains how to set the machine up and use it. So a lot of people their first uh, experience with this computer system would be to read the first few pages here. Most importantly setting up the system. Alright, when we come back in a moment I'll have it set up and connect it up to a power supply and show you the 4K level 1 system powering up. The reason I was keen to set this up on my kitchen table is where that's because that's where most of us who bought these things in the first place set them up. Um, bought them, raced home, unpacked them from the car, set them up on the nearest flat surface which was the uh, dining table near the kitchen. Um, so this is how a typical one is set up, monitor, computer, power unit plugged in, monitor plugged in here, we turn our monitor on there, give it a few seconds to warm up, there it is, and put power to the computer. So there we are, the level one classic ready. Maybe a little hard to focus in on it with my camera, but it's definitely a level one machine. Uh, it doesn't understand syntax errors. If it doesn't understand what's being typed on there, it just says what. But this was a typical level one system for 1978 February 
when this was made and sold. So any questions or if you're interested in buying this, it's for sale at the moment. Have a look on eBay or just email me. Uh, it's a very original system. It works well. It's 120 volts because it's just come from America. Um, but for collectors who are after the original machines, this is the equivalent of a uh, original Apple II computer or something like a uh, Commodore PET 2001. I thought these machines were better, which is why I got into them. The processor was faster than an Apple and a PET. The keyboard was nicer to type on than a PET. The Apple didn't come with a with its own monitor. Um, the Apple has an 80 uh, a 40 column screen, so does the um, so does the PET. So for doing real work, these things had a little bit more screen real estate. I just preferred these over the um, the other computers. So yeah, that's our quick tour of 1977-78 uh, vintage uh, TRS-80 Model 1 Level 1 computer, just imported from the States, just repaired, and it's just waiting for a, uh, a new home with a new careful owner. So thanks for watching.